think my water just broke. Guys, <laughs> you are going to have to excuse the lighting, but I think my water just broke. Well, not just broke. So I went to my friend's place, right? I got a haircut. I don't know if you guys can see. Fixed my hair, but and then, oh, baby, yeah. So I got a haircut. And then I went to my friend's place. So while at my friend's place, I was like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom. And then I peed. And then when I got up, I was leaking. So I'm like, but I just peed. And then I sat down and then I wiped. And then I got up, I leaked again. And then I wiped again. And there wasn't pee. So I was like, ah, oh, I'm leaking. And I left it there, right? And then I went and I told him, I was like, yo, I think this child is trying to make an entrance. But I doubt it. And I let it go. Fine. Guys, and then while sitting down, I told him that, you know what? I'm scared of standing up because I feel like my water might just break. And they thought I'm like, you know, crazy and we laughed about it and whatever. I got up, guys. Did I not just feel this warmth? <laughs> I just felt warm down there. I'm like, what? So that's what people say. Like when people say they felt like they were peeing on themselves. That's what I felt. But yeah, I don't have any pains as yet. It's just that I, and then I drove home. And then while driving home, I was like, um... When I got home, when I got out the car, I just felt this gush again. So I'm trying to call my mom because Shane, she went away with her friends thinking that this is not going to happen. But now it's happening. So I'm just letting her know. And I told my uncle to be on standby. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> yeah. I. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm definitely in labor. Like, I keep feeling like I'm peeing on myself. Like, it's uncontrollable. I even, like, had to wear a sanitary pad and all, so... Guys, <sighs> it's happening! <laughs> it's happening. And my mom is not here. I can't get a hold of her. Because, like, I went to the doctor today, as you guys know. And he was just like, ah, oh, no, let's chill until Monday, whatever. Not thinking that it's going to happen today. And then she went out with her friends. They went somewhere to spend the night with her, with her friends and she was only coming back tomorrow morning. Now I'm just like, oh my God. So I'm just gonna drive myself to the hospital now before things get too hectic. And I'll take it from there because either way, um, they weren't gonna allow her in because she has to do a COVID test. Um, so it's rough, guys. So <laughs> let me drive. I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Guys, I think the crazy thing about all of this and how it's happening is that it's happening exactly the way I dreamt of it. So I told my mom on Saturday, I was like, I dreamt my water broke and I was with people um, and, uh, you know, you you were not there. Like you, <laughs> you were not there. I don't know where you were, but like you were not there. Now, imagine my water broke. I was with my friends and i can't get a hold of my mom like this is crazy and now everybody's just stressing me because like i told my friend my other friend and she's just panicking like oh friend go to the hospital and my grandmother literally called me while my water was also breaking for like well not breaking but i was leaking for like the fourth or fifth time or something like that and she's just like no you must go to the hospital that, that time i'm so chilled but anyway i'm driving now i'm driving myself guys believe it or not <laughs> i'm driving myself to the hospital and i'm in labor clearly this is maybe early stages but i'm praying for a nice easy delivery to be honest like not too much pains i'm praying i get there and i have at least started dilating or something like that but yeah, let me drive safely, guys. Like, we've reached the end. I can't be risking my life and my child's life. So, yeah, I'll chat to you guys in a bit. I'm off to the hospital. <laughs> Bye.
guys talk about showers of blessings it is raining baby girl is coming and it's pouring like this must be blessings it's a sign it's just oh god i think i don't know guys my friend keeps saying that i'm in denial that i'm in labor or something and i'm just like no man i'm not in denial like i'm just like oh my god this baby's really coming that's how i'm feeling but yeah let's chat later guys then let's see i feel like they might turn me back and be like no sissy you are delusional you are not in labor <laughs> that would be funny but i'm already at the hospital like literally when i turn here this is the hospital actually so i'll let you guys know what they say i still haven't been able to reach my mom but i must text my uncle and tell him that i made it made it safe because he wanted to bring me and i'm like yo i must wait for you my friend also wanted to bring me i'm like guys the sad part about all of this is that they're not gonna let them in so yeah <laughs> this is a film it's a movie but yeah things are actually really happening like they are actually really happening so i'm currently in the labor ward they gotta go get the pathology lancet people to come through so that we can do my covid test i'm so scared because it's the nasal one the only one i've ever done is the throat one but yeah so far so good i'm just leaking uh, a lot like i'm just leaking so i'm now wearing that maternity pad and then i've got my linen savers to help because i'm just feeling wet everywhere but it's happening guys it is happening believe it or not but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, I think the real shit is starting now because... Oh. And I just had the big gush of water. Ah, oh, guys, you... Yo. and I'm not even far yet actually I don't even know how far I am because they haven't checked but and I just felt like lots of water like you know the official big gush of water like I just felt that and then I felt a contraction afterwards wow 
so I just got checked and yeah things are definitely really happening I'm two centimeters dilated only the beginning and I've officially started feeling my contractions so and it's something else oh what else would you do oh yeah just i'm still waiting for them to come do the COVID test at least they give me a ball guys look so i can try help baby out because wow i can't just sit on the bed like that actually kind of hurts when i just sit there like it's like i feel everything for what it is <laughs> so no worries no worries let me give you guys a room tour so that's the entrance to my room when you walk in basically yeah the chair it's my bag and baby's bag my bed a birthing ball Ooh. i think i'm about to have a contraction Ha ah, in the bathroom Usual sink, toilet, and the showers are nice and big, guys. Oh. The showers are nice and big. I actually feel like going in there right now because there's pain, honey. Mm -mm. But anyway, let me get bouncing because wow. Well. Get to the so where does it end? The okay. I want to see myself. Right. Ready? Do I need to do anything? Just, just breathe through your mouth. Like, yeah. like a tilt. dog. Yeah. Like you tilt your head. Like that. Mm -hmm. Not that bad though. No, it's the thought. It's not that bad. Maybe send me to the bed. How long does it take? Overnight. Okay. So when it's ready, the doctor will let you know. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I thought like, cause people, you guys always say that doing a thing in COVID test feels like they trying to reach your brain. It was actually not bad. Just that now I feel like blowing my nose and all that stuff. But it wasn't that bad. But anyway, I'm busy doing a maternal case, whatever file. So I just need to fill up some stuff. Hello. Hello. Have you been there? Good thing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Meaning if your medical aid doesn't pay or there's a shortfall from their side, then you as the member and the person that stands down will be liable for the payment. Okay. Your initials, your signature there and your signature there. And here. 
Yeah, just your name and send him with your ID number. Catch up with you guys later when like things maybe get spicy. I don't know if things are gonna get worse than this, but please. Baby's here. She's donut is here, guys. Hey, Angel. And she has so much hair. Let me try to show you here. The hair. Look. Hey. She has so much hair. I get you have so much hair, baby. And she's so peaceful. Like, oh my gosh. Are you hungry? Hey, you hungry? Guys, this is so surreal. I'm like, what? Guys, this baby latched like immediately. She did not struggle at all. She just went for it. She literally just went for it. Look at how pink you are, baby. Okay, so this is what we having for breakfast. Um, some fruit juice, this is milk, and then that's some oats, and then bacon and egg. I'll probably just have the bacon and egg though because my little princess over there is hungry. So I need to be quick. Hey guys, so I'm looking all crusty because <laughs> motherhood um but yeah i didn't vlog much today didn't show you guys what we what i had for breakfast lunch or dinner or even snack but yeah that's all because I've, I've been trying to catch up on my sleep every time that she sleeps last night we sleep quite late and i think because it was my first time obviously sleeping alone with her in a foreign environment for me too which is a hospital it was just like, I don't know, I just couldn't really sleep very well. So I spent pretty much the whole afternoon catching up on sleep. Now she's feeding. Okay, here, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now she's feeding and then we'll probably go to bed afterwards. But yeah, we are doing well. She's so far been like a star passing every single taste of hers and stuff yeah you've been baby <laughs> guys this is just the cute look at that oh yeah okay sorry 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 so so there we go no. so yeah so I just wanted to give you guys an update. We are going home tomorrow. Mom is going to have to Uber here so that she can drive us home since I drove myself here. But yeah, I'll chat to you guys tomorrow when we go home. Say night, night. Please eat. A. Hey. A. Hey. There we go. Say night, night. Say night, night. Yeah. Also, breastfeeding update. Obviously, I still my milk supply still hasn't come in. It's mostly colostrum, but that's also good for her, so that's fine. And it doesn't seem like she's starving because she sleeps very well. Like, and she's been pooping and peeing enough. Like everything is just 
all green and I won't lie I feel so proud of myself I'm like <laughs> I feel so proud but yeah we're doing great right Nana yeah we're doing all good so yeah I will chat to you guys tomorrow when I when we go home bye guys <laughs> morning <coughs> so we are going home today um and I just got baby's discharge papers. I don't know. I hope. <clears throat> oh, my voice. I hope she adjusts well to being home. I think that's my biggest worry right now. Like, uh, uh, I hope she doesn't become a performer of some sort. Because she's just been an absolute sweetheart. So, yeah. Let me get things going. Get ready. My mom is going to be making her way soon to fetch us. But yeah, I'm wearing granny undies, guys. But yeah, this is two days postpartum. <laughs> it really feels weird. It really feels weird. But yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually like kind of. I think it's one of the first things that shocked me. After giving birth, I was like, my stomach is gone, and now I'm just left with this little bulge, and it's feeling tight because my uterus has been contracting, which is a good sign on my side. Um, yeah, just have to wait for doctor's clearance, and then I can go to gym, honey. I can't wait, and I mean I'm going home in. Um, pants that are like a size 30 like I'm so happy with my body like my body is just doing the most right now but yeah anyway I forgot to show you guys that I had actually changed rooms so this is the room that I was in so this is the bathroom and they had given me some salts you know to help recover down there because I did have to get a few stitches since I'm tiny <laughs> and then I'm supposed to have a roomie but we've been all alone <laughs> so yeah so yeah guys now I'm just quickly gonna freshen up my mom's gonna be here in the next like 30 minutes and then get baby's birth certificate and home we go <laughs>